Hello friends, uh, in this video, let's see how to construct and test uh, the BAM uh, network. So, uh, just a minute. So uh, how to construct and test the BAM? Uh, see, BAM is bidirectional associative memory network. So we have to test our network in both the directions, forward and backward directions. So uh, let's see how to proceed with that. So here we have given uh, two uh, input vectors with their corresponding targets. So uh, before going to perform the forward direction. Let's see uh, how to, sorry, before we're going to perform the forward direction, uh, we'll find the weight. So we will find weight using outer product rule. So uh, the formula of outer product rule that we're gonna use to compute the weight is, uh, we have to transpose the given input vector and that has to be multiplied with its corresponding target. So here we have given uh, two input vectors. So we will be getting two weights, W1 and W2. So their sum uh, will be uh, getting giving us the uh, total weight. So let's find W1. So W1 means so uh, we have to find S1 transpose into T1. Also, this is S1, right? That transpose is 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, and multiplying with the target. So we will be getting 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. Now let's come to W2, which is H2 transpose and T2, this is H2. So that transpose 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, and target is 1, 1. So if we multiply, we'll get 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. So now uh, it's time to find the total weight. So W is equal to W1 plus W2, that is 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1, plus 1, 1 minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. So, which results in 2 and minus 1 plus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. Minus one plus one zero, one plus one two, minus one minus one minus two, one minus one zero. So we have obtained our weight. So now uh, let's proceed to the forward uh, direction and in that let's test the given two input vectors. So our given two input vectors are S1 is one, one, minus one, minus one, and uh, H2 is. 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. So now let's test uh, S1 first. So find y, y in value. All right, uh, multiplying our S1 with our obtained weight 2, 0, and uh, 0 minus 2. 0, 2 and minus 2, 0. So this will give you uh, 1 into 2, 2 and uh, minus 1 into minus 2, 2, 2 plus 2, 4. And this gives uh, minus 2, minus 2, minus 4. If you apply activation function, we will get 1 and minus 1. Since 4 is greater than 0, we'll get 1. And minus 4 is less than 0, we'll get minus 1. If you observe this one and minus one is the target of the first input vector. So uh, we have obtained the correct response. Now 
uh, let's test the second input vector. Let's find y into so um, one minus one, one minus one into our obtained weight to zero, zero minus two, zero two minus two zero. Now let's compute it. Uh, one into two and minus one into two. So two plus two four and minus one into two, two and one into two, two, four which gives us one comma one after applying the equation function. So if you see this one comma one, uh, it, that is the target of the second input vector. So uh, we have obtained the correct response. So uh, with this, we complete our forward direction. So in forward direction, we have obtained the correct response. Now let's check in backward direction. Let's test in backward direction. So in backward direction, what you need to do is for calculating the left input, uh, we have to uh, take the target to take the target and it, it has to multiply it with the transposal weight value of our obtained weight. So if you see for the first input uh, to get the net input value, the target is one and minus one and that we are going to multiply with the transposal weight. So that will result in two, zero, zero, minus two, zero, minus two, two and zero. So this results in uh, 2 and 0, 2 and uh, 0 and minus 1 into minus 2, 2 and 0 minus 2 and uh, minus 2, 0. So if you apply activation function, uh, minus 2 and 2 greater than 1, right? So 1, 1, minus 2 and minus 2, minus 1, minus 1. If you observe, uh, this is nothing but our first input vector. So we have obtained correct response. Now let's test for second input vector 2. The target is T2 and W transpose. T2 is 1, 1, right? And uh, W transpose is 2, 0, 0, minus 2, 0, minus 2, and 2, and 0. So the result will be uh, 1 into 2, 2, and uh, 1 into minus 2, minus 2, 1 into 2, 1 into minus 2, minus 2. If we apply activation function, we will get 1, 1, 1 minus 1, and 1 minus 1. This is nothing but our second input vector. So, uh, here also we have obtained correct response. So this is how you have to perform uh, this bad direction associated memory network. So uh, if you observe in my question, I have given directly uh, the net input vector as one, one minus one minus one and uh, one minus one, one minus one. In some cases, uh, you will be not getting those input vectors directly in the question. Uh, you will be giving some patterns like star dot star dot star dot and star dot star and you will be giving with this kind of patterns uh, for S1. So how we need to compute or how we need to obtain the input vector is consider uh, the star as one and this dot as minus one. So uh, finally we'll be getting S1 as and star dot star means one minus one one and dot star dot minus one one minus one star dot star one minus one one. So here is how uh, you have to obtain the input vector uh, in some conditions like if you are given with patterns like this kind star and dot. And after obtaining this, you just proceed with, uh, with the method finding the weight and testing with the input in forward and backward direction and test the band network.
this is how uh, construction and testing the PAM network is performed. Thank you.